What's going on guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a few of my Amazon must-haves for travel. A lot of these things I've had for a while but there are a few things in here that I picked up for our most recent trip that I absolutely loved so I decided to include them in here too. These are things that made traveling so much easier for me and I'm going to share them with you today so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I have here I actually don't use anymore because I have it built into my my bag but it's a TSA approved lock and I got this a while ago when I was going through a neon phase. Did everyone go through one of those by the way? I'm very curious if you went through a phase where you were obsessed with neon colors because I definitely did and now I'm very embarrassed by it. This lock comes in other colors. It also comes in a multi-pack if you needed more than one. I really like this lock because it's inexpensive. You don't need an expensive lock to protect your bag. You can set your own combination on this and if your bag is randomly selected to be checked, a TSA agent can easily get into your bag by using this lock on the bottom. They have a special key that they use to get in and you don't have to worry about any damage to your bag. If you're not using a TSA approved lock, they'll break the lock off and they are not responsible for any damage to your lock or to your bag. Another cool feature on this lock is if someone does access your bag from this lock on the bottom, there's a red button on the top that'll pop up to let you know. When I first started traveling on my own, I was most nervous about navigating the airport by myself. So I picked up this travel wallet and now I never travel without it. So there's a spot right in front here. This is where I normally put my phone when I'm going through security or anytime that I need to get my tickets out or something in here, I'll put my phone in here so I know exactly where it is. Inside, there is so much room for anything that you might need, so you can easily organize your tickets, your ID, your passports. I have global entry cards that I keep in here too. And then there's a spot right up here for a pen. I highly recommend if you're traveling internationally, always have a pen with you. You never know if you're going to have to fill out customs or immigrations forms, so I always recommend just having one and keeping it in here. There's also a zipper pocket if you're bringing cash with you, I would recommend keeping it in there. This one I feel like might spark a little bit of a debate. People are either really for packing cubes or really against packing cubes. I happen to love them. I think they're great to stay organized. I like to separate everything and know where everything is. So just rolling things up and shoving them in a bag just doesn't work out for me. I have a few different sets, but this one is definitely my favorite. They're really high quality. There's so many different designs and colors to choose from. And I've had this one the longest and it's just so durable. I've had other ones that just feel cheap and fall apart really easily. So I definitely recommend these. The next thing that I never travel without is a laundry bag. I have a few of these, but this is the only one that seems to work really well for longer trips. Hotels used to put those plastic bags in the closet for their own on-site laundry, and my mom used to always have us use those, but with a lot of hotels now, they either don't offer them or they won't give you another bag if you've used the one that's in the room. So I just recommend bringing your own. It's so much easier that way. This one opens up into a large bag with a drawstring. And then when you're done using it, it just folds up into this cute little pouch. So for this next one, even if you're anti-packing cube, you might actually like this one. This is a packing cube just for your shoes. I don't know where this has been all my life, but I just picked it up on our most recent trip and I wish I found it sooner. So normally by the time I get done sorting out all of my clothes into the regular packing cubes, there isn't one left over for my shoes. So I usually will just stack them on the bottom of my clothes or find a separate compartment to put my shoes in so that they're not touching the clean clothes. But with this, I don't really have to worry about that anymore. I can just pack it in with the rest of my clothes. So there's a couple different compartments in here. So in this first flap, you have this little skinny part. You could put flip flops or sandals in here. This is where I normally put my sneakers. There's a divider right here and I can actually usually fit two pairs in here. And then on the other side, there's a really small compartment. So here I can fit maybe a pair of slip-on shoes or two or three pairs of flip-flops or sandals. 
So before I got this next thing, I was just throwing all of my toiletries into a packing cube and then when I actually had to find something, it was a mess. So I picked this up. It has a hanger on the top so you can hang it in a closet or somewhere in the bathroom. You have so many little compartments here. A big compartment here in the middle so this is where I'd put my hair products or larger bottles of foundation and then you have two organizers here on the side so these are good for your makeup brushes I also put my shampoo and conditioner in here so it has more than enough room to hold the toiletries that you need to bring the next two things I picked up before our most recent trip and I was so happy with them, I decided to include them in the video. So the first thing that I picked up was this drawstring bag and I originally picked it up off of Amazon because it was pretty inexpensive and I figured if it got wet or destroyed, I wouldn't really care. But this actually ended up being my favorite purchase of that entire trip. So. This bag was dragged through the literal mud. We were on an ATV tour and had the bag strapped to the front of my ATV and we started going through mud and going through a ton of water and I thought everything in the bag was going to be destroyed. But the bag was actually repelling water and repelled a good amount of mud. There was still some mud that was on it that we couldn't get out once the bag dried. But everything inside the bag was totally fine and I couldn't believe it. So I will definitely be bringing this bag on any kind of trip where we're doing ATVs, jet skis, anything like that because I was so impressed. And the last thing that I picked up is this dry bag. So we booked a catamaran tour and a jet ski tour in Costa Rica and we were going snorkeling. So I didn't wanna come back onto the boat and have water dripping all over my phone. So I figured this was the best way to protect it. And it was the perfect size bag, kept everything protected and I'm really happy with it. So I will definitely be bringing this on other trips. And that is everything. I hope this video was helpful. Whether you're traveling for the first time or you've been traveling for a while, these are some things that have helped to keep me organized and keep my stress levels way down, especially in the airport. I'll link everything down below if you want to check anything out, and I'll see you in the next one.